Oh hey guys, I didn't see you there. I'm your host TC Smith and this is some bad hair. Let's roll. Let's roll the scenes. So you must be wondering why the long break and why wear the Maverick hoodie? One, comfortable. Two, because I've only just got back from holiday. I haven't been uploading because I've been relaxing, getting in shape, lost a bit of weight, lost a bit of weight. Lost a bit of weight. Put a bit back on since I've got back because I've been back a week. But with my mind sorted out, feeling well rested, I'm ready to kick straight back into some YouTube action. But there have been un um, unfortunate circumstances, which means I do not have my phone. Well, not my main phone anyway, and I don't really like uploading off this. And I do not have my laptop either, but that is because I broke them both like an idiot. So they're in for repair, but until then, I have a very special person who's going to be helping me edit these videos. So look for a bit more pizzazz in editing. And anyway, I may as well tell you what the main video is about. But you could have already told by the title, but I'm going to say it anyway. Is jo Marshy. Joshua Johnson a good YouTube channel? Now, is he a good YouTuber? Is the channel a good? Well, if you stick around for this video, you'll see ex my exact thoughts on all of this. Talking about in depth, talking about what he does, what I'd like to see, what he can improve on, and more importantly, is he a good YouTube channel? All in, all in this and more coming up now. Now, as you would have seen by that mini title score, you would talk about the first topic of discussion is. is his most popular videos, Oakwood Theme Park. Now, he does little improvements, and a few of the improvements I suggested. He hasn't done them enough, though. But let's go into the good. So we're going to roll some of the most popular clips from his videos. Now. So now that you've just seen the videos, you will see that. They are really, really well edited. That's the first point. These type of videos, not only these, but I'll get onto the rest of this in the next topic, are a really well edited videos. L great music, cool rides, very good videos. That's why they are very popular. And because he films at the same place all the time, people start recognizing him, so he's becoming a tad famous. But if you want to know, I have some little scrapes with these type of videos. One, some of the rides he lingers on too long, I think, get the tension up a bit with some dramatic music on the incline, the bam, when the, and then bam, go down. But then I think, I don't know, it might just be me with ADHD having a short attention span, really. You need to kick it, keep it quick, fast paced. But that's why, in my opinion, he needs to do, excuse me, I'm Mr. Popular, but I'm going to carry on. Probably, I think for me, if he keeps the same amount of video, probably take a little bit off, just chop and change them a bit more and make it look, I don't know, a bit more dramatic. Not too short, too short can kind of make you not grasp the video, but just a bit shorter could do him the heap of good. But the main part is he started to do this after m me requesting many times, be in the video talk more, talk more, but I think... Sometimes his talking is a bit stale, sometimes it's great. But I think he needs to be in between a few rides. Do two rides, then bam, he's talking. Do a few rides. And don't just, and when I say film, I don't mean just talk about the rides. Talk about the rides, Josh. Talk about what they are, what you're doing. But 
try and make sure you don't say ums as much, but the main thing, just be yourself as you would do between the rides. If you've got friends there, talk to them. If you know people there, talk to them. Make jokes, just be you, but just show you more. We can connect with you more. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Sometimes kick off, sometimes I'll watch all of it because it's kind of nice editing and I, the, our rides are interesting. Also, Josh, I want you to take me. I want you to take me. I want you to take me. Ha! <laughs> Gay! Before we go to uni, I want to go to Oakwood before I go to uni or in one of my uni breaks. But before we get into that, Buy the Maverick merch! No, joking, if you do that. It's up to you, I don't care. It's not going to threaten you, am I? But the most important thing about Josh's channel, he's doing him. He doesn't care. But I love the Oakwood videos. I do really enjoy them. But for me, they need to be a bit shorter, some of them. Some of the clips need to be shorter, and we need to see more of you, Josh. Add a bit of personality in them, and I will absolutely love them. But they're all good. And now we're getting to our next point though. So see you then. So as you can see the title of this one is editing. Because I mentioned it last a bit in the last clip, so I have to talk a bit more about it. Now, his choice of songs are normally really good. Sometimes though, slightly wrong song for the video he's betraying. But overall, really, really. Really, really, really well. Really, really, really well. Really, really, really well. well edited. He, but uh, I, he still can improve. He's still not like the big YouTubers. Before his channel size, I think he does superb. I think what he needs to, if he wants to add a bit of editing, I'd say get a better background. I need to, to as well. So I'm not, I'm not saying that's on him, but I'm saying do that. But there are a few things he needs to edit more. Um, I'm going to put in another clip here of me in the future because I don't know exactly what I would like. Marshy is a pussy. But I'm gonna show that now. Have any of you guys noticed that I click and clap a lot in some of my videos? Cause I have, and it's driving me crazy when I look at, at them back. Look at them back, watch them back. But don't you worry, I'll try not to click or clap or Nice. Do this as much. I'm more chill at the moment, you know. Haven't been running around, have a quite nice chill day. So we're gonna carry on with the video. Now, we were talking about Josh's channel. We were discussing his most popular videos. Oh good, but the last thing we were talking about was his editing. He's a really good editor for his YouTube channel size. And I still haven't looked, and I'm sorry, I haven't looked at any YouTube things. But, you know, you know the type of things you want, the big you, the type of the big YouTubers does. And I think if he starts integrating that, it can help. But we're not here to talk about his editing right now, are we? No, we're not. So now, we are going to talk about his fitness and his work at the gym, because he's apparently he's a gym lad. And we're going to talk about positives of what we've seen, negatives of what we've seen, and of course, how they can fit into his schedule. And we'll get onto his schedule later. Now, first of all, we have his bike riding videos. Yes, I know what you're thinking. Bike riding videos, how is this anything to do with gym? Well, it's not, it's to do with fitness. This is the fitness part. Because a lot of you know this, a lot of you think he's fat and look at him, think he's fat. And is that fair? You know, he's kind of fat. But it's mainly about the fact that he tries to get himself in shape. He started eating better, supposedly. Taking less snacks, supposedly. Drinking less fizzy drinks, supposedly. And stuff like that. But he has, for a fact, been doing a lot of exercise. He goes cycling a lot, if not every day when his bike's not broken. And I have to say, those videos are kind of nice, but I wouldn't have a whole video dedicated to the type of cycling he shows. Maybe if he was filming himself from an outside angle doing tricks, which he cannot do. Maybe. Or if he was having a cycling race with somebody, maybe. And to have an outside view as well and have two, you know, GoPro looks from each person. Maybe, but what I'd like, what I'd like him to do is work them into his intro. I think his 
I think he should do that intro. The intro he has now is fine, but I would like to see him add maybe that in. But I'd like it to see him cycling sprinkled in a few of his videos. Because it's kind of just a nice refreshing little break and it could be like a little cutscene type thing. But good for you for doing a lot of cycling. But what we should also do... But what we're also going to talk about is not just the cycling, swimming. He does this, he's done it once or twice before in some of his YouTube videos, and I'm pretty sure he does it quite a lot at David Lloyd's. Now, yet again, like the cycling thing, it should be done the exact same. Smaller pieces, cut into several things, you know, put into several things, or in a fitness video, which I will talk about in just a moment. But now we're going to get to the main stuff. His gym work and his boxing because he's always out and on his feet which is always a bit of exercise but you see some stuff at him at the gym and now the most the very first and a few of the more a few of the videos he's done have been bad not the best exercise or he's been doing decent exercises but just too low weight and I know I know I know low weight is better than heavy and bad technique but he doesn't have the technique so I don't care about the weights actually no, forget about that Josh go to the right weight for you and do the right technique. Even forget about ego, forget about lifting the most. Pick a light weight, work on the technique. When you've worked the technique, you know, when you're working the technique or bench press, you know, whatever it is you're doing, work the technique first. And as you do that, increase the weight and you will see gains. I don't know why I'm doing this because I have not been done arm day in a while, but still, not too bad for someone who hasn't done arm day in a while, is it? But what I have to say, Josh, is you have improved. Looking at your more recent footage of you, you have improved. But yet again, not enough. And some of the exercises you're doing, I personally think you should scrap and choose some other ones. I'll be here to help plan one or help you add a few workouts in, a ex few exercises in your workout in, if you so choose. He's also been doing a lot of... If you watch his channel, comment below what it is he does when he... It's in the boxing, uh, boxing pads, treadmill, things like Clearly didn't make much of an impression. No, I actually like those videos. But I'm going to talk about the boxing because there's the real reason I included this part in the video. His boxing was originally atrocious. You would see him fighting with his hands here and like, well, more like this. Now, if you can see what's wrong with this, what's wrong, his guard's not up. And he's throwing from the shoulder. When you throw a hook, it's from the body. From the body, etc. Things like that. But he's got better. Uh, he's throwing better combinations than he was before. And he's quicker. He's stronger. You can tell he's hitting the bag. And he's no longer pushing it to make it look like he's swinging. He's hitting it hard, causing it to swing. Now... A lot of you will say his, his power's in... A lot of you will say, oh, his strength's increased, or his speed's increased, or his power's increased. Well, it's his power. Power is both speed and strength combined. So don't... Um, a lot of you in... Um, not interchange. Yeah, interchange power and strength. Power is not strength. Strength is not power. Strength is part of power, but it's not all of it. The world's strongest man is strong, but he's not the world's most powerful man man in terms of physical power. The world's f the, the world's fastest man, I guess that's using button, he is quite powerful and he's quite strong too so he's quite up high there on the power scale. But as you can see, if you want more power in a punch, it's not just, and that does not just mean bigger muscles, stronger muscles, that will, because while you can, while you have a stronger hit, like a, you have a stronger arm so you can hit more, you often lose speed because you forget to train the speed. Oh my god! Wow! But, so you have about the same power but more strength. 
more strength means kind of more, I, the way I see it is strength, it's more of a dull pain, like pain, but it's kind of hard. And then um, speed, if you're very fast, it's more of a sharp, niggling pain that's like, ah, warning. And then if you have power, it's the best of both. Or if you're on the receiving end, worst of both. But anyway, as I was talking, Josh has improved a lot, but I would still like to see his his feet have got slightly better, but I would still like to see him in a better position and not leaning over. But besides that, we're going to get to the point. They're very well edited videos. These are some of my favourite videos because they're very good editing and it's something I'm interested in. <laughs> What I would like to see, however, combining a few of the cycling and swimming in with the video and some of the gym videos and doing it once a month to show his improvement and every three to six, maybe even nine months, I prefer three to six personally, show a full f a body view of himself, both clothes and non and like just no top of view. I, I, I'd recommend that for later, personally, but up to him to show the change and you'll also see the strength change because if he's doing weights you'll see the weight slowly increase and it doesn't matter if they don't increase in the first six months while well, you should be aiming for that there's a lot of other factors into that time of day what's happened that day what's he been doing injuries anything like that but I love these things and he has got a lot fitter so if any of you are calling him fat you try and do the lifestyle he does consistently and get yourself motivated for it 100% most of you cannot. He is dedicated. He gets up, go for a, he goes for a bike ride, he swims, he goes to the gym, he's constantly around on his feet at Oakwood. So, and I've noticed, I've known him a long time, so I can tell you for a fact now, while he looks the same about of bigness as he was last time I met him in person, last, and for the last few months he's stayed the same, it's not all fat anymore. Before, I can tell you it was mainly raw and flabby, but now just by looking at him on the footage, I can tell you 100% that it's not all fat. Some of it is solid, so he is putting muscle on, but he still has a bit too much fat. But to work on that, he also needs to work on his diet and get a consistent training going and doing consistent things, but throwing in a few curveballs. But I generally think, keep going the way he's going and he'll eventually lose that over the next few years. And who knows, in 10 years he might be in better shape than me. Doubt it, but he might. So, that's about Josh's video, but I'd like to see him do more of it in one video once a month. I, I think that's reasonable. Well, especially since apparently, if you check his more recent um, videos, a uh, link into his channel will be in the description below. Also, should be in below or somewhere on the screen now, is th some... Um, the name of Josh's Instagram. Follow him there because he'll post any updates on his story about his channel. Where I'm pretty sure I got this news of he can no longer go to Oakwood. He's going to the last After Dark at Oakwood in Halloween, I think. Or he's going to the last, oh no, of this season. He's going to the last one. But it means he won't be able to go to Oakwood until Halloween time, October time. So until then, I'd recommend he does a few of these gym videos as well as reactions. I think sprinkle in a few reactions, sprinkle in a few of this and things like that. And he's sorted until Oakwood's back. Now, the first bit of what we're going to talk about here, I was thinking of talking about his personality. His YouTube personality. But I'm saving that for later in the video, so what? Bye bye with that. I was also thinking of past videos he's done that I'd like to see return. But that's going later. I'd also like to think of videos he hasn't done that he can do. But yet again later. Right now, we're going to talk about his reaction videos. Because these are coming a lot since I mentioned them just then. And they will be coming a lot. Josh's reaction videos aren't the best. I'm going to say this is one of his biggest downsides 
on his channel reacting to me. I think his reaction to my videos in the past have been some of his better reactions, but I don't think his reactions are that good. To be honest, mine isn't the best, but I've been working on it. So hopefully next time I do a react, if I do a react anytime soon, which I don't have any plans for, but next time I do a react video, because I will maybe start doing it, bits and bobs here, will be better. But I have to say, Josh is not very good. His, he ums a lot and ahs a lot, and I know I do that quite a bit, in some of the videos, and I tend to cut them out a lot now, but you can kind of tell. But I would like to say... I'd really like to see, you are an emotive guy Josh, you have very emotions, you're a bit of a douche sometimes, but you're funny and hilarious, and you're just banter. I would like to see that in these reaction videos, not just in these reaction videos, in your channel as well. It was one of my, your awkward video, we don't connect with you, we don't see you enough. I like your content, but I think, keep it the same length, but cut out a lot more, save it for for another video, like do two parts, but don't say it's two parts, just do two different videos and show us a lot more of yourself. So have a vi awkward video between 15 and 30 minutes, I'd say, each video and do a few of them, but let us connect with you. So have about, have half, have around just over half the time on the rides and around about half or just under, maybe just over on you and I think that would improve it a lot. And same one with your reactions, be you, react to them. Don't show all the video, I know I've done that too, but I'd say go through it, check the most controversial things, the funniest things, and show us personally what you can do. Like, show us, yeah, and then leave a link description to the original video, and I think that can really help you a lot. But anyway, since we've been talking a lot about it, we're gonna talk about your personality in just a second. Now, I have to say, Josh, over the course of your YouTube career, your personality has improved far much from the old vision. I kept having to give you daily, daily tips because I knew you could be more likely to change your personality than I would at that specific time. But now, I'm in the middle of a change myself from that weird kind of, I don't know, guy to more of the, I know what I want, I'm going to go for what I want, I'm going to achieve with what I want, and there is no no for it, I'm not taking a no for an answer, and I'm a lot more calm, I'm a lot more there, and I'm a lot more me when I'm private and in my thing. I'm like that more often everywhere now. I still have anxiety, but even that's improved a hell of a lot since, well, since my last video. So, I'd like to say, Josh, you had that time a while ago, and I still think you need to go through that change, but it's still time. But I'm saying your YouTube has improved way more than me. Not just, we're not talking about Italy, we're talking about your personality has improved way much. At the beginning, way much? Is that even proper English? Excuse me. Wait, wait, wait. Josh, you stuttered, you were unsure, you weren't confident. Now you're a confident, exuberant guy, but you're still not I think you're not confident enough. I still think you worry in the middle of filming. Uh, is what I'm saying interesting? Is where I am interesting? And stuff like that. Now quickly, quick little side note. When you're filming at Oakwood, when you're filming yourself, you have your camera low down. Hold it up higher. Because it does make you look bigger, like it makes your face look bigger when it's down here. And it's not as big as it is. So, I'd like to say that, like in general. Do that, like, you know, it's a bit weird. This is my head straight, but then on there it looks weird. And when I'm just like, turn slightly, it looks right on, oh, anyway. The point is, Josh, you need to be more expressive. You need to be yourself more. You've improved a lot over time. But trust me when I say this, show us your personality. Show us your personality. Your personality with me, the banter guy, the guy who takes the piss, the guy who likes taking piss out of other people, as well as himself, just for the banter.
<laughs> this is great banter. It really is. The one who gets annoyed at people who call him fat. Not because they call him fat, but because they're not being creative about it. Show me him. Show me that guy. Not just show me, show your fans that. And that, I think, can make you a great YouTube personality, which means even if your quali qual quality, even if your content was bad, you would still gain subs and be a big channel. And so you've already got them, since you've already got a lot of subs, Five more than you. and you've already got good videos, that's it, that's all you need to do, is add that personality. Be fun, you're fun. On the video sometimes I get this bland, repetitive, cookie cutter frame guy, don't be that, you're not that. Show us you Josh. In most, if not all of your videos. Also, you do a lot of gaming. Get an Elgato. I'm gonna get an Elgato probably at some point. I'm not gonna get one anytime soon because I'm going to uni. Maybe when I'm at uni, I might get an Xbox. Might get an Elgato. I might get an Xbox while I'm there. Get an Elgato and just record some of it and it can be some of my videos because I've already planned something I'm gonna do once a month, once every two weeks, stuff like that. But I need other content as well before when I'm down there. But show us that personality, Josh. It can make the world of difference. Now, when Josh, when I first found out Josh had a YouTube channel, he had 50 subscribers. I had 100 subscribers at the time, which was huge to me. But turns out, not that much anymore. But I'm so proud of being on 409 subs, and I wish, I, if I carried on filming, if I didn't need that personal break, I have a feeling I probably would have been on 450 by now. And, and I, so thank you guys for subscribing and watching the videos and I'd love to make videos that you guys enjoy further so if you have any idea for the type of videos you'd like something that is e kind of easy but fun to do something I could do at uni please comment below but anyway let's go back to Josh then me and him had beef I went up to 120 he went to 100 subs mine started to decrease he kept doing his normal videos then the same thing happened but with scum and he went up to I believe 200 212 same thing happens with Black Man Official went up further. And I, I'm, I don't know. I have absolutely no idea. So don't take that for my word. It's just a bit suspicious. That's all. It could just be a coincidence. But he grew so quick, like that. And yes, that click was intentional because he's now on 812 from the last time I checked, which was like two days ago. So if he's grown since then, then. Holy moly, and I've planned, a, I said if he can get 1,000 subscribers before I go to uni, I'm planning a whole week of doing of us doing absolutely crazy shit together for YouTube, both on my YouTube and his YouTube, but then I pay the majority. I mean, probably I won't have the money to then, but oh well, I said it now, and I made the deal. But the, So, it, that's things like paintball, airsofting, Go-karting, Oakwood, maybe a strip club. No, I'm joking. If you want to, if you want me and Josh to go to a strip club, but then I have to hit, hit 500 subscribers before I go to uni, which is the 8th of September. So if you guys want to see that, comment below and help get 500 subscribers. And this video will have to have 25 likes. I know it's huge. I know it's huge for my channel, but don't worry. That's why I'm saying it, because I don't really want to go. But I'm pretty sure you guys would enjoy the video anyway. And we would do lots of crazy stuff like that. And lots of other ideas. So if you have any ideas, comment below and message Josh on Insta or me on Insta. But actually don't me message my official YouTube one, because that's my old phone. Don't message, actually add Josh up on Insta. Hit Josh's at Insta. Or if you personally know me, text me or just comment below, because I read all the comments. So, please do that. But Josh, I, it's a miracle how you've grown. And that shows you are a good YouTuber in that respect. Now we're going to go into more mysterious matters. No, nope, I'm just saying that to be dramatic. So, we're now going to talk about... So any ladies, hit him up. Don't come at... But if you hit him up and, he, you, and you find out he can be a bit of a douche, don't come complaining to me. I'm telling you, he's a nice guy and he's a great guy to be around, but he can be a Bit of douche. And if you can't cope with that, don't blame me if you go to it. That's all I'm saying. 
Uh, but I'm say what I'm gonna say is Josh's editing is great, but I don't think his presentation is. I think his his personality, the lack of personality in it sometimes, and stuff like that is really really letting him down for me. I think it's one of the most detrimental things, as well as he's in his comfort zone. It's always awkward, always awkward, always awkward. A few version of things. I like the go karting. I like the awkward. I like all these things, but I think he does too much of, of awkward. Add a bit of Jimin. Add a bit of awkward. Keep awkward your main theme, obviously, because that's what you've got famous on. But try new things. Try truth and dare with your mates. Do things with other YouTubers like me and any other YouTubers, or just have friends involved in some videos and do big things. I think that's the next level. When I go to uni, I'm hoping to do football, crossbar challenge, uh, call out penalties, things like that, and even drills. I'm going to try and do a variant. You want to stick to what you do, but you also want to add a bit of variant in. But we're going to get to the ultimate question now. There was one question since the beginning of YouTube. Since the dawn of time. And that question is... Is Joshua Johnson a good YouTube channel? And I'm here today to tell you the final answer. He's okay! I'm going to- that's going to be controversial. I think he is a great YouTuber, a good YouTuber for his channel size. In fact, I think he should be at around 1,000. But do I think he's good enough to make it past 1,000? I don't think he's going to make it past 1,000 by the end of the year. That's my personal- Excuse me? Opinion. But I might be wrong. I might end up throwing a big day. But what I'd like to say is I think he's going to go places. If he gets out of his own head and his own last, I think he should drop the ego, listen to people, try and learn new skills instead of telling everyone that he's a great YouTuber, and do things like that. I think he's at that stage when he should start going out, start getting his self out there more. When he hit, as soon as he hits 1,000, he needs to be doing more stuff, going out more, and things like that. And his biggest letdown for me, I know I said it was his personality, but no, I realised it is his schedule. He uploads nothing for like a week, or a few a week, and then he bombards you a lot one week, and it's hectic. I think he should, if he wants to upload regularly, I would say one video every day, or four videos a week, on certain days, or between a certain time, and I think, otherwise, just stick to one. And I think his awkward videos, probably, I think should be once every two weeks, or once every week, that would be nice. And then the other videos, the other three or two videos, or how many he decides to do, will be a lot. Me, when I go to uni, and I'm planning to try and implement implement it before I go to uni, is one video a week to begin with, and then I'll go up to two. And the reason is, I need to get used to the type of editing I'll need for one of the videos, so I'll do one like normal type video and one of the special type video, which is gonna be once a week. And then once I get better at that, I'll try and implement it tw that twice a month, making it four videos, because I'll do another one. So I'll do two completely random and two of those types, or something roughly like that. But I'm gonna try and, my aim is by December time to be doing four videos a month. No, no, either four videos a month, or potential four to eight videos a month, either two videos a week, or one video a week, between there. And I think Josh, with his amount of editing it takes, I think he should start off with two videos a week, That'll be eight videos, but I think he should probably try and aim for three to four by the end of the year. No, it's good that I think he should be aiming from three to eight vi to seven videos a week. I think he should be doing either a video every day or every few days with lots of editing. Now, you may think that's a lot, but I think he should edit a lot of videos now, film a few, start editing those, and when he's edited, when he's like halfway editing those, start uploading them, and that's how he should do it. Film, edit, upload, and things like that, so we'll always have videos that are fully edited, but not, but, but won't go out straight away. Because he does that. He does. He he have, he films and he up. <coughs> excuse me. He films and he uploads in bulk. Now, while this decent, I don't think he should upload in bulk. I think he should keep his video. I think he should keep some of those videos and save it for a few days later or next week. Those are my personal preference. If he sorts those out. I would personally say he could probably get to a thousand because the problem with both of our channels are we upload randomly, which means you guys don't know when we're going to upload, so you get bored and go away. Especially since I always ha seem to have time off. But no more of that. No more of that. Well, probably maybe a bit before I go to uni because I'll be getting ready for uni all this time. But once I'm in uni, 
after I get settled in. Videos regularly, I promise. But enough of me. We were here about Josh. I think Josh is a good YouTuber. If I had to tier list for anyone over under 1,000, I'll tell you, under, under 1,500 subs, out of the people I know, I would put Josh from B to from middle B to low S tier. Now I do it as S is the highest, F is the lowest. I would put him around there. And tomorrow, in another video I'll be doing with Josh, because I'm going to upload this video, then I'm going to be with Josh after that, and I will do a video with him, and we'll be talking about certain YouTubers. Well, we'll be ranking them from F to S tier, and personally, I think it goes between there. It really depends. I think... The f the last few months where I was there, well, the months when me and him were uploading regular videos together, like, not we weren't together at the time. When I say that is, I mean, we were both uploading regular videos a regular amount of time for about two to three weeks before I stopped doing it, and that's when I had my most views, and was it the best streak of running a YouTuber? I think that was probably he was S tier then, and I think he dropped off to around an A or a B tier. Recently, I think he's in an A tier now, but I could be wrong, which is still very good because I'm a harsh judger. There's, there's someone on a higher video is on over 1,000 subs, and I think I, I don't. I think he's roughly the same level. I will talk about that more in depth, and I'll show Josh those videos so Josh can help me rank that. But also, you you know Marcus, you know. Uh, Stroppy Afro, well that's no longer a thing. There's also Marcus the most hated and he might be mentioned in the video. But what I'm saying is, the answer to the question of this video, yes, yes Josh is a good channel. He's not good enough in my opinion to make it top yet and I don't see him hitting 1 million subscribers for the next few years if he keeps going the way he does. I think if he keeps going the way he does, like not in growth terms, but I think if he keeps doing the same videos, same editing way, I think I would see him hitting that in 5 to 10, maybe even 15 years. But I can see him hitting it before five years if he adapts and learns things of the two. But hey, I don't think I'm hitting that. I'm not saying I can do better. I'm just giving you my personal opinion. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've been your host, TC Smith. This has been Bat Hair, and we are coming back with a bang. So prepare for some big, awesome videos coming soon. Not just me standing here, me actually doing things, going out and about, or whatever it is. See you later, suckers. Peace.